This will be the custom heist we're gonna play today. I almost got through it all until it crashed right at the end, which I'm assuming is because of the, the fact that I had textures on high. So we're gonna hope that doesn't happen again. Good chance it might, because it, it apparently happened on the first day when I last tried to play it. This time we are playing it completely clean. Nikolai told us to no visit his penthouse, wants to celebrate uh, our success against the mob before leaving for the airport to kill Alexander. I say it's a bit too early to party, but we still have some time before we can leave. Uh, let's go with this one. Uh, yeah, someone said something about I was running accuracy on a shotgun. Um, I guess my only response to that is I just slapped whatever I thought was good on a shotgun. I have I never have any real plans for how we to have max some time out to a kill, gun. So it's nice to relax every once in a while. Meet up with Nikolai, he wants to talk to us. Okay. I've played the first day a bunch of times, because before it used to always crash on the second day. But now I Shit, think it Nikolai. works now. Get to the intercom and call for Nikolai's crew. I'm already suspecting the voices might be a little too loud. Wait, that would be sound fix. Okay. Damn, it's gonna take a while for Nikolai's crew to get to you. Because I know volume was an issue doors. last video. God, I might have turn it down even more. Nah, maybe not. Don't you love it when that happens? Oh yeah, I forgot to tie up the civilians. Oh fuck! Stay down! Gotcha! Alright! I think the Russian enemies are the best ones that Re Restoration Mod has made. Uh, I honestly think the Murky Water faction fell off a bit. Like, they're still good looking, but I think the fact they don't have any uh, elite heavies throws me off a bit. It's fell uh, falling off so much, they're struggling to figure out how to design certain, certain murky water super enemies. Like what camo to give them. Trigger Nikolai's security system and lock this in here. We need to open up these doors. Get me on a computer. Which honestly, you know, when a faction's only like mining color scheme is the fact that they wear camo, it is kind of hard to figure out how to design all the enemies. I mean, they did a good job, like, the lower tiers are, like, don't have any camo at all, but then the elites are the ones that roll in. And then specials are the odd case. Some don't have camo. Well, actually, I think all of them don't have camo, except for the, the like, higher tier dozers. Gonna turn the volume down just to music, just because I think it's a little, a little loud. Hey, 
I can't wait until these uh, FSB guys get custom assets. I don't think they're gonna be that detailed, but they're just gonna have some variation. I hope Payday 3 like really goes in with like variation. I think the way I would do it is just like have a bunch of different like like some slot guys will have like goggles or masks on or helmets, no helmets. And the only thing to really kind of picture them out from a crowd like for what gun they have. I'd honestly just make all the guns they have more random. Oh damn it. Alright, so it crashed. They're very disappointing to see, but it happened. Guess we'll play something else. Um, screw it, we'll play some 2 for it. Just a fun little wacky heist. And since it's only one day, we'll do it on a higher difficulty. Yeah, I made the foolish mistake of playing this map with the certain mutator on. Where is it? Ugh. Oh, this should hopefully be more leveled at least. This is supposed to be two for it from TF2. <laughs> And honestly, uh, not too impressive if you ask me. No offense to the mod ma map maker. See what I was talking about earlier? If these guys appear on both like low like second tier and third tier. They don't have an actual elite form. I feel like all they'd have to do is just like put a different camo on them or maybe a higher tech looking helmet? I don't know. Either that or give the lower tier a different one and then they keep these guys for the elites. This is a lot more tame than when I played it with those mutators.
Oh yeah, and going on I was talking about with like what I would hope it a three will do with like a variation is basically just give them like multiple variations in equipment, like helmets and stuff. And then like same with also just having them have randomized weapons, like more like you'll see dudes with SMGs, rifles, and different types of rifles. Even if it's only like two versions, two SMGs, two this, two that. It'd be nice. Maybe some of them would have like short sleeves and others would have longer sleeves. That makes sense, though so maybe also dependent on location, because obviously they probably would want long sleeves if it's like snowing, but but if it's, you know, the, the, the heat of summer, uh, then it'd be like a higher or always have a short sleeve, world up sleeves. I also hope they kind of, uh, what's the word? Because you know how the regular comps, they basically have like three different, fac four factions for like each tier, right? Like regular comps, and then the FBI comps. Then it goes to the elite Gen Sick mercenaries and the super soldier zeals. I hope they I hope they decide to make it you know singular faction, but they do have like variants or like, and that that could tie in with the whole body group stuff where like you know, the things I was talking about, where they just. Uh, some when you're on higher difficulties, they'll spawn with more armor, or they'll spawn with their weapons. Maybe new versions come on, like you two like exclusively have an LMG. I don't know. Like on like on normal, you'll only find dudes with SMGs, pistols, sometimes shotguns and rifles, but like lighter ones. And then when you're on the highest difficulty, then they'll have all sorts of stuff. Uh, teched out SMGs, rifles of all kinds, dudes with LMGs. Maybe even have it dependent on what faction you're fighting. So if you're fighting these mercs, they're gonna have all the guns. Is that server? Can I actually spawn over here? Or no? Yes, I has to be in the building. I think like ResMod and the various modders have toyed with that idea of factions having their own ways of using enemies. Like the guy who made those Russian heists made one where you fight like a bunch of... Instead of SWAT, you fight a bunch of gangster mercs. And they don't they have like their own assortment of specials and stuff. Actually, I haven't played that heist because I'm mostly waiting for it to get updated to work with ResMod. I 
And not gonna lie, the the cartel faction dudes of that mod don't look to the greatest. But it, at the same time, it kind of makes sense. It's like reused equipment and stuff. I hate the guys that push you back. I don't know if that's exclusive to the mercenaries, but it's really annoying. Yeah, Resmod does actually also kind of do that with the Russian faction. Like, their super units are a bit different. Like, they have flamethrower dudes instead of dudes who mass heal, and... Their super elite dozer has a grenade launcher instead of a railgun like these guys would have. Once again, Dozers continue to be the most intimidating enemy in Restoration Mod, unlike in Vanilla. Which, let me just say, in my experience, rifles are some of the most worthless things in Restoration Mod. At least, like, there's a big contrast compared to when you play in Vanilla using rifles. Because, like... You do too little damage to really make much of a difference, like... And there's no, like, skills that help with that, or... I mean, there's some, but... I don't know. Never seems worth it to me. And especially, like... More worthless than that are heavy machine guns. Because those things have the worst ammo pickup ever that you may as well not use them if you're doing it solo. It wouldn't be so bad if the bots would actually pause guys they kill to drop ammo, but. It just reinforces that heavy machine guns aren't worth it in this mod. And rifles are, while slightly better, are also not worth it. And submachine guns are basically the same as machine guns, but I think they have generally better ammo pickups, so they're a bit better. They're basically the same as rifles in that tier. But maybe I'm just using them wrong or with the wrong deck setup. Oh shit, oh, okay, I thought it crashed again. Like, it's probably better with, like, like, from what I've seen, people have had better experience of it when they're using, like, the, grind, the grinder perk deck. And, like, lighter armor, so maybe that's... Because I prefer heavy armor builds. At first I used to just use armor, but then I got more comfortable with using the anarchist perk deck. It's certainly not the greatest, it has its low moments, but... There's so many shields, man. Yeah, shields are the second worst enemy, honestly. 
Yeah, I think that number one is probably the Titan Snipers on Death Sentence, but... I've always wanted to try out different builds, you know, try and get out of the comfort zone of anarchist heavy armor shotgun, but... Yeah, man, so I guess some of these... I hope they implement that feature where you just grab all the bags because it's annoying having to put it on these bots. Overall, I'd rate this map a... Oh yeah. There's a bug with the map. I thought that was because of the mutators. But it looks like his infinitely respawning snipers. That's probably an in-joke because TF2 uh, Fort is where all the snipers reign. So just do this. That would explain why there was so many Titan Snipers there as well. I wouldn't be surprised if that map had a specifically increased chance. Or because of that increased chance, that's why. Because I never, never see them that often when I was doing the Russianists. Honestly, I feel like the Russian ground snipers should spawn more often. Yeah, let me do that again. Slower. Figured I'd take this second, uh, second round of playing to just give some thoughts about Restoration Mod, what I've experienced. It's a very good mod, though. If you have not played it, check it out. You will not regret it unless you prefer the, you know, the difference I said earlier, how when you're playing regular Payday Vanilla, you pretty much want to have LMGs read everything, because there's always like so many enemies and headshots do like a billion damage, even to dozers. That's kind of the main thing that irks me with rifles and machine guns. They just don't feel like they do enough damage, even with a headshot. Which makes sense for heavy units, but even lights, I think, take two shots. 
that's why I just like using shotguns, because they always get the job done right away. The expense of, you know, having shotguns so they don't have much ammo. Maybe I'll try a high ammo shotgun next time. But that's all I got for now. See y'all uh, next time.